I've seen many people using a black wallpaper on their smartphones. When you take a look at their phone screen, it kind of looks like they barely have any wallpaper. So when I asked them why they use it, they didn't say, oh, I prefer this black look or I use it because it makes icons and text more readable. But the most common answer was, I use it to save the battery. So can a black wallpaper actually save your phone's battery? Here's what you should know. There are two major types of display on smartphones. LCD and OLED. LCD which expands to liquid crystal display contains an array of liquid crystals and these crystals are illuminated by a backlight which provides an even light source across the entire screen. And the backlight source is actually polarized meaning that the light waves can travel only in a single plane. And each crystal can be twisted by applying an electrical voltage to it so that it can either allow or block the polarized light to pass through it. When a crystal is twisted to allow the light to pass through it, the light finally reaches the color filter on the screen found on each individual pixel. And each pixel has three sub-pixels in it, namely red, green and blue, which actually shows the required color on the screen by adjusting the luminance values of these three sub-pixels, red, green and blue, from 0 to 255. For starters, every color is a combination of red, green and blue. These three colors are enough to combine and form more than 16 million colors. Now back to the concept of LCD, when the crystal is twisted to block the light, then the luminance values of red, green and blue subpixels are all zero. So due to the zero luminance, black is displayed. And as the value increases from zero, based on the individual values of R, G and B, different colors are displayed. And when the value reaches 255, the maximum value for all the three subpixels, due to the maximum luminance, white is displayed on that pixel. And regardless of the content and the colors on the screen, the display is always backlit and the power required by the backlight source is always the same. Now let's speak about LEDs. The LED display uses an array of light emitting diodes, I mean extremely small sized LED lights such that each LED represents a single pixel. The difference between LCD and LED is that instead of having a separate backlight, the pixels themselves are self-illuminating in LED but they still have the same RGB subpixels like LCDs to form different colors. And an OLED is a type of LED that uses a film of organic compound which emits light in response to an electric current. The luminance of each pixel can be controlled by increasing or decreasing the input current. That is, a pixel requires maximum current to display white which has the maximum luminance and in order to display black, zero current is required as black has zero luminance. That is, in order to display black in a pixel, that particular pixel can actually be turned off. And there are two types of OLED displays, AMOLED and PMOLED. In PMOLED, which expands to passive matrix OLED, each row and column of pixels is sequentially controlled one by one. But due to its short lifespan, PMOLED is not used widely, but it is still used in devices with display size less than 3 inches. Whereas AMOLED, which expands to active matrix OLED, uses an extra layer of TFT, nothing but a thin film transistor to control each individual pixel independently. So by using this type of approach, AMOLED is more advantageous and it can be used in devices with uh, larger displays and higher resolution. Now let me show you something. Okay, this is an LCD display and this is an AMOLED display. I've loaded up the same pitch black image on either of these devices and the brightnesses are at their peak level. If you take a look at this LCD screen, you can actually easily tell that the screen is turned on because even though the crystals block the light in order to display black, some light escapes from the crystals and are still shown in the display. But if you take a look at this AMOLED display, unless I touch the screen, you cannot actually tell that the display is turned on because AMOLED can turn off the necessary pixels when they want to display black. This is why phones and smartwatches with AMOLED display supports always on display mode while those with LCDs don't. Because AMOLED can turn on only the necessary pixels to show the clock or notifications for example while the other pixels remain turned off. But with LCDs the entire backlight source has to be turned on to show something on the screen thus wasting power. So this is why they generally don't support always on display. So applying a black wallpaper on an LCD display and thinking that it will save the phone's battery is absolutely senseless because the power required by the backlight source to display any color is still the same. And just a random fun fact, the people I noticed using black wallpapers who believed that it will save their phone's battery, nearly 70% of them used an LCD display. No use at all. So dear LCD users, just go enjoy your life with all the bright wallpapers. So what can you do to save your phone's battery? 
Well, keep your display brightness as low as possible and try to change your phone usage patterns. That's what you can do. Whereas on AMOLED, when you apply black wallpaper, the unwanted pixels, that is the pixels that are required to display black, are actually turned off, thus saving power. In order to test whether this really works, I actually performed a battery test on a phone with an AMOLED display with two different wallpapers. So it was a 30 minutes test with 100% display brightness, Wi-Fi connected, do not disturb enabled, and screen recording turned on. So with this as the test conditions, I started my first test applying the black wallpaper. So after the 30 minutes time frame, the battery level stood at 96%. And for the second test, I just downloaded the brightest wallpaper that I could find on the entire internet. Nothing, just a solid white background. So with this as the wallpaper, I started the second test with the same 100% battery and the same test conditions and things started turning upside down because the battery level fell drastically to 88% within the same 30 minutes time frame. Which means the concept of AMOLED screens really works. The black wallpaper gave me 8% more battery than the white wallpaper. In other words, the white wallpaper consumed 3 times more battery than the dark wallpaper. This is the thing with AMOLEDs, the darker the screen elements are, the more the power saving is because the current required to illuminate a pixel is directly proportional to the luminance of the pixel. So as the luminance reduces, the power saving is increased. Not just black wallpapers, even dark grey wallpapers can give you similar results. And apart from wallpapers, try to have a dark theme across the entire system to save even more power. Anyways, I've included the link in the description for an 8K solid black wallpaper for you guys to download and apply on your phones with AMOLED screens not LCD though. Alright, I hope this video was useful. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed it and catch you guys next time.